Ever wonder how a giant metal tube flies through the sky? Let's break down how airplanes fly in just three minutes. First up, lift. The wings are shaped like airfoils. As the plane speeds forward, air moves faster over the top of the wing and slower underneath. This creates low pressure on top, high pressure below, and the plane lifts off the ground. Now it needs to move forward. That's where engines come in. Jet engines or propellers push air backwards. And according to Newton's third law, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. The plane gets pushed forward. That's thrust. As it moves forward, air pushes back. That's called drag. Engineers design aircraft to be sleek and aerodynamic to minimize drag and save fuel. How does it turn or stay level? With control surfaces. Ailerons make it roll. Elevators control pitch, up, down. Rudder manages yaw, left, right. Pilots or autopilot systems adjust these constantly to keep things stable. Behind the scenes, complex systems manage everything. Fuel, hydraulics, electronics, pressurization. It's a flying computer with wings. To land, pilots slow down using flaps and reduce thrust. The landing gear comes down. When it touches down, reverse thrust and brakes bring it to a stop. So how do airplanes fly? Thrust beats drag. Control systems keep it stable. And that's how we soar through the skies. Like, share and follow for more bite-sized science.